everybody, I'm Liz from Creations by Liz. Today I want to do um, some fussy cutting, show you guys some scissors that I use. So we were talking with the girls last week, I'm still sick so still kind of hear that in my voice. Um, and so <laughs> that's what I sound like right now. Um, like I said, I wanted to talk to you guys about fussy cutting today. Um, I have a, about five scissors that I keep on hand. Uh, most are Friskers. Uh, this is my Friskers Everyday Titanium. These are the ones I use the most. They have the soft grip. So they are very nice to hold for long periods of time. I also have the Teresa Collins, um, the gold collection. These are the Friskers, um, like I said, Teresa Collins Gold Series. They are for mixed media, which are nice. I use also um, Singer, like these, like the uh, sewing machine company. I have a pair of their scissors, which are really nice. They're sturdy and they don't warp. Some of the Friskers ones warp on me, so these ones are really nice for straight edge, cutting straight lines without even trying. Um, I do have a small one. These are actually my Cricut, from my Cricut machine. Um, I have a set of tools, and that's the ones I use. And then I have some dollar ones. Yes, you may think these are crazy to have in your tool kit, but honestly, these are great for cutting anything like this you know any thick super thick cardboard and you just don't want to ruin your good scissors honestly that's one of the big things is if you ruin your good scissors you spend a lot of money on these scissors you don't really want to ruin them um, I've had these ones probably about five years these ones I've had if not longer because I know I've lived here for nine years and I've had them at least five to six years. These ones I've had probably more than ten years. And like I said, they're sharp, they're nice, they, st they cut very nice still. Okay, so now I'm going to cut some images for you guys and just show you guys what images I would prefer to cut with which scissors. I just showed you which scissors I do have. I have a lot more scissors. I have, you know, like the metal ones. Um, those are great for cutting paper when I'm just cutting something. They're nice to just have. But I know a lot of people say that small scissors are great to have in their collection and to fussy cut with. Honestly, I don't find small ones good to cut with because I don't have a lot of control over them. Like, even maybe it's the way I'm holding them, I'm not sure. But just as you see, I'm going along the lines. And I'm having to constantly readjust. And that, to me, tells me that I'm not, <laughs> I don't have a lot of control over it. And I find with the little scissors, because I'm constantly readjusting them, that I'm not getting such a smooth, clean cut. And with this, because I don't have a lot of control over it, I make mistakes with the smaller scissors. These aren't really designed for um, larger hands to me, like some of the other ones. And as you see, you know, it's already starting to get red. And that was just part of an image. They're a little tighter. Also, that could affect it too. Now, going into these ones. These are good for paper cutting too. I do like using these sometimes. Um, usually if an image is a little bit bigger and I can't find my gray ones, I will use these. And you always want to move your image around. It's less stress on your hands and your wrist. So you always want to think of that. You want to just move the image around. 
but with these scissors, I do like how they cut, but they're not one that I can cut for long periods of time with because of the hard plastic that the handle is made with. These ones are designed for obviously adult hands, so they're bigger here. But as you can see, they're already like starting to wear red on my hand. I don't care for that, but these ones are perfect to me. Um, I can cut for hours with these and not have any issues. Uh, I do have another little image here. I'll cut the same one. I have a few of these. I always will do multiples of them and then cut them out, rough cut, and then be able to cut them out. When you cut them out, it's easier if they're already individually cut so that when you're fussy cutting it just makes it a smoother process to go through and cut. Now these ones I know exactly where these scissors are super sharp um, and if I'm having to readjust the scissors anyways I might as well just go ahead and get to that super par sharp part I should get some sharpeners and sharpen them, but I don't. <laughs> um, and scissors can run, can vary in price. Uh, obviously you can always find coupons and different things with them. I know these grade handled ones are delightful for me. I can handle them for hours. I usually do probably about 40 or 50 images of probably of the same size, you know, like this size or so at a time because I'll just go through and color a bunch and then I make a bunch of things at once. I slipped on her hair. So I prefer these ones, like, I don't even have a mark from these. The soft grip is really nice for that. Um, now there are other things, like, if I have a straight image, I will go to um, these. Because they just make such a nice straight line. Like I said, sometimes with the friskers, they tend to bow in certain places. Like that's like my gray ones. I know exactly where they're super sharp and where they bow. So I've had them so long, I know where they are. And I know that I can do these images, but I prefer to use the sturdier metal scissors that I have and use, use my gray ones for more curvier images. Like this one was just a little bit... I can do it, I just prefer the other ones if that makes sense. I don't know. It makes sense to me. But um, for little things I will go in sometimes, like on some of these little Im images, I will go in and do some of like the in between the legs with the little scissors. It's just a little easier. But I prefer to use just my gray ones overall. Um, now some images like this that have these little pieces here, I will use only my gray scissors on them because like here there's a trick to doing things to fussy cutting things like this to me. I will start off with cutting the tail first because if once you're using the scissors and you're going through um, you want to go with, with what's natural usually so if you're left-handed you'll probably go from this angle but if you're right-handed you'll probably go through this angle but with this image, I know his tail is a little harder to cut. 
And so I want to start with that cut first because as I'm going through cutting the image, I don't want to get to the end of the image and then mess up on the, on the tail. Um, sometimes it's harder to hold on to if you're waiting for the last possible moment to do the hard part. With fussy cutting, I find that doing the hard part first actually makes it a lot easier because like here I have more to hold on to. Now I can go through and do his tail. And like I said, you just rotate the image and slowly cut through the image. And then that just gave me more to hold on to throughout the image. Because if I was waiting to here, like I cut all of that out and then tried to cut through here, I could end up ripping that image. Which I have done. <laughs> which is how I know to always cut the hard part first. It's a process. Sometimes it's just a learning curve with images. Uh, I've learned that with these kind of images that have these long pieces that need to be cut out and that will be a little more difficult to cut out to just go ahead and do them first because if you rip the image first off right off the bat then <laughs> there's no point to cut the rest of it out which luckily for me I've never really cut one or ripped one towards the beginning um, it was always towards the end when I had that last piece because I didn't have much to hold on to here. Um, like on this image, I didn't have much to hold on to. So that's all I have for fussy cutting. If you have any other questions, um, it's really a process. It depends on the person. Some people like the smaller scissors. I prefer the larger ones because I have more control over the scissors because your hand is actually holding more of the scissors versus this much. Like I even have small hands and this is these are difficult for me to control versus these. Um, I'm not sure if that makes a difference with people with larger hands, but I would think it would. I've always heard that it's better to have larger scissors for fussy cutting and so that's what I did. And honestly, I love fussy cutting to begin with and I love the way it looks <sighs> I just can't say good enough good things about it but I like the larger scissors for it and each pair of scissors will be different just like everything else in life um, nothing will be similar you know if I bought I do have two pairs of the gold handle scissors and I have them marked differently so that I know which is which. I have one with some glitter washi tape on it and one without. And that just tells me which is which. Um, one, I got them really cheap on clearance. And this one, these ones are really sh super sharp and pretty good with paper. And then these ones are pretty good with paper but not as sharp it seems like and they're bowed differently here like um, within the cutting edge of them so I use these ones for like paper and stuff when I have when I can't find my gray ones and then these ones I use for thicker things like cardstock and cutting ribbons and cutting thicker things that if would ruin my other scissors so that's what I have for today, and if you have any questions, just ask me. Hopefully this helps you guys, and I don't know if you can tell, but these ones, this one's a little more jagged, because I really don't have much control over these little tiny scissors as I do with, um, with the larger ones. So hopefully... You, this video helps you guys and you guys will actually see how I fussy cut and 
how you're supposed to move the image and not your wrist because you're supposed to keep your wrist straight and so that it doesn't put strain on your wrist or your hands. And like I said, if it's uncomfortable here or here, you're using the wrong scissors. Um, that's what I find with these ones. After about two images, I'll get a big nasty red mark here and it just hurts to do it. Same with these. It's just the type of material they are. These soft gripped ones are amazing and I can use them all day and not have a problem. Alright, well I am Liz with Creations by Liz and hopefully you guys have a great day. Bye!